This world is awfully big Girl, this time you're all alone But it's time you started living It's time you let someone else do some My name happens to be Mrs. Stephen Carrington. Mrs. 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 Stephen Carrington. You may have been born a Carrington. Which was wasted on you. And I overheard her telling one of the servants that she just loved, 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 loved Jaguars. Who was planning on buying one for herself soon. See, because nobody ever gives me anything around here. Tell him to drive, 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 drive that little champ out of bed. Mrs. Carrington. The girl has left the house and I don't know where she was. Well, she should be. Tell her that I am waiting for her in my studio, that I insist on seeing her right away, and if she doesn't, she will regret it. Tell her that, Joseph, all right? I'd like it delivered by Saturday with my initials inside. SJC. Sam Jo County. Did I hear you correctly? How can you possibly place such a financial burden on him? How do you expect that his father's going to pay for it? Who do you think was going to pay for it? Blake? Well, he's not. Because I'm sending it right back, initials and all. You know, we have a rather strict policy about returns. Just shut up and listen to me. Just shut up, just shut up, just shut up, just shut up. Are you going to answer me? What's going on in that mind of yours? Well, maybe, Aunt Crystal, that's something for you to figure out sometime. Like when you're wandering around the house in the middle of the night. Instead of being in bed. 